<coughs> we come to branched chain hydrocarbons. We'll see that we'll see that there is a parent chain, okay? To a parent chain, to a parent chain, the side chains are the side chains of of alkyl groups are attached. We will soon see what technically we mean by a parent chain. Okay? But for now, for simplicity, for understanding sake, you just think that it is the longest chain. <clears throat> okay? This is the longest chain and while identifying the longest chain, it need not be a straight chain. So, it could be, it could be a chain that is bent. Okay? So, so for example, in this, if I start from here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, then there are 5 carbon atoms, though this is, this is bent, but if I start from here or maybe I straighten this out, straighten this out like that, so what happens? this C comes here, this C comes here and this maybe goes say like that, this comes here, right? So, it somehow, if I, if I pull it, it bends. So, so, it sort of becomes like that, right? But all said and done, you need not always write it like that. You need not write it like that. It's okay if you write it like this. Okay. Fine. So, what looks to be a bent chain may necessarily be a straight chain. It all, all depends on how you write it. So, so maybe someone, someone prefers to write it say like this. You understand the equivalence of these three. This is also the same. So, how geometrically it is placed, how it is placed geometrically, that does not affect what it actually is. And that is, that is something that you should understand. <coughs> okay? That is something that you should understand. Fine? Or, or any any shape whatsoever say even if I write it like this it remains the same okay it does not matter these three four are the same fine so when a parent chain so what is the parent chain the parent chain still remains one two three four five six uh, and, and uh, 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 a hexane still remains the parent chain understand 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. A hexane remains the parent chain. Fine? So, so, to a parent chain, the side chains of an alkyl group is attached. And we know what an alkyl group is. Okay? An alkane is something like Cn H2n plus 2, while an alkyl is Cn H2n plus one. We get the point. Okay. So, so if if CH four is methane, then CH three is methyl, and this we had done, right? We had done it earlier. C2H6 is an ethane. C2H5 is an ethyl. 
okay there are basically five alkyl groups which are taken as such into the iu pack and they are important to understand and they are so involved that mostly the chains are made up of those very alkyls until and unless obviously it is more complicated which it can be okay now five important alkyl such alkyl groups are these okay important alkyl <coughs> groups okay now one of the alkyl groups is kind of this okay this was otherwise what c3 c3 yeah c3 h8 right had it been this then it would have been a propane now if this is not there okay if this is not there this okay suppose this is not there that means this is not tetravalently bonded you can see that one and two hydrogen so this is this is free so this is n propyl normal okay n propyl if it attaches somewhere here from here the central one okay then it is termed as isopropyl now try to understand iso is same see from the point where it is joined to the left and to the right or maybe up and down of that point that line you have the same same alkyl group correct it is symmetrical about this line hence the name iso okay so for propyl you have these two whenever it is a normal attachment it is always n okay normal butyl it is never n ethyl or n methyl because there is simply no other way understand there are two attachments that are possible here that's why this now if it is if it is if it is normal this so it is n butyl okay correct if the attachment is here if the attachment is here then it is called sec butyl okay i'll tell you now as you advance in organic chemistry you will find suppose there is a halogen here just see suppose there is a halogen here x 
then this carbon will be termed as a secondary or two degree carbon okay two degree or rather secondary carbon if say this is x a halogen or an oh then this will be turned termed as a secondary carbon why the the carbon to which this functional group is attached or say a halogen is attached that in turn is attached to two carbons then it is called a secondary secondary say halo compound or say secondary alcohol hmm? if it was connected to one so for example say there was a CH2 here and there was a halo here then the carbon to which this is attached is in turn attached to how many carbons one so that would have been a primary halogen or primary alcohol understand primary secondary okay so that sec it gets attached to through a through a, a bond okay so whatever attaches to this this carbon it attaches to such a carbon that this carbon in term is attached to two carbons so it is called a secondary secondary kind of thing okay it will always hold such okay the very first chapter that you start in class 12th starts with the concept of this so that's why it is sec butyl okay now it starts becoming a bit more involved butyl we know that there are so many isomers of butane that we'll see soon so 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 yes this yes actually these two are not different if it was here if this was two and this was one then also it will be sec butyl because simply does not you will not be able to differentiate they are identical carbons you simply don't know which right so 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 this or that both are butyl so it does not make any difference where it gets attached is it not now we come to another form of butyl so you understand why this is sec butyl Here, this. Yeah. So this is also secondary then. So both of them are called two degree carbon. Hmm. Hmm. Secondary carbon, yes. Actually, you will not be able to distinguish whether it is, it is this or this. You understand? Both two are equivalent in a sense. Okay. Now, now if it is, say, something like this, and the attachment is here. So this is H3, this is H, this is H3, this is H. You see, along this line, if I go up or down, up or down, I see the same thing, up the line, down the line. So it is called an iso butyl understand understand the attachment is here it is very very important to understand that the attachment is here okay which both are the same no they are not the same they are not the same they are not the same now in the same thing if the attachment was here so so the attachment
this will be two no hmm. then only it will be c4 h9 this will be two no one two three four then only it will be a tetravalent sorry for that c ch3 the same thing let us try to understand this if the attachment is here then what kind of a carbon is this if it would have been an alcohol it would have been a tertiary carbon so this is tert butyl okay this is tert butyl third hmm? butyl okay sec butyl isobutyl third butyl yes n butyl as no no normal normal connection is that so you call it n butyl third butyl right now we come to pentyl and you have if the thing is in like this and this is the point of connection then this is called a neo pentyl it's called a neopentyl. Get the point? It's called neopentyl. Okay. Primary. Yeah, this is a primary one, but you call it a neopentyl. Okay. Fine. You have to keep them in mind because they keep on occurring as side chains and instead of the side chain or chain also has a rule a big rule for that but instead of going for that what we do is is we 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 just write this okay at the number at which it is attached we just write this so so that reduces a lot of your headache okay understand 